my name is Lee Bobowitz, and welcome back to The Last Door, Episode 2. We last left off, we were gonna turn the drain on to get whatever was glinting out of this drain, and uh, we're gonna do that now! Okay. Well, the shiny is gone. Hopefully the shiny is by the window. There's only a puddle of water. Coolio! No jump scares, I hope. Let's go into the nun's room. Let's look out the window. What do we got here? The nun has caught a shiny object. Well, why don't you grab it? What? A teardrop. What am I going to do with a teardrop? Oh, wait, that nun was like, oh! Blah, blah, blah. Maybe we gotta put it on the statue of the Virgin? Maybe? You know what? I think that's what... Yeah, I think that's what Cinnamon Toast Ken did. I did see episode two. Alright, I think... Please help! Well, uh, let's just, let's just put it right there. And I placed the glass tear in a hollow of the Virgin's cheek. It seems that it is... It fits perfectly. Hey, sister! I told you already, you cannot be here. But... Don't worry about it, sir. The Virgin listens to those in need. Can you look at the statue? In the eyes of a fervent de devotee, it could look like a real tear if only I could make it shine. Shine? Ah. <gasps> there we go. <gasps> oh. The nun. Oh, the mother. Our mother is crying. Oh my lord, what does it mean? What have I done? What have we done? What do you mean, what have we done? Oh. Well, she's gone. Where? There we go. Well, let's go talk to her now. You. You must help me. <laughs> what can I do? What's wrong with you? There is little time. I tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain. Yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they are praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. Oh, ailment. <clears throat> but sir, I... I know, but I beseech you. You will be saving me from horrible torture. I'll be eternally indebted to you. I can't shoulder that burden. I will, however difficult this would be for me. Oh, so he's asking for help killing himself. Oh, good. Um, sure. I understand. Your request is terribly hard for me. I guess I could find the courage to help you. I understand the magnitude of what I am asking. God bless you, sir. I do not know how I can show my gratitude. What I need you to do is, without the nuns noticing, to try to get an amount of morphine enough so, so that it can be embraced by the deepest of dreams and in that way stop the rhythm of my heart. Well, Sister Mary, or Sister Up Nun, old nun who went for a swim, had morphine. So, uh, let's go get it. This is, I mean, it's just gotta be up there, right? I mean, Sister's gone, we can just grab it. Just go, yoink, that's mine. Mm, blesses, oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're back. Well, at least you're not dead. She's praying fervently. <laughs> Can I morphine her? No. <laughs> that would be mean. Blessed art thou amongst women. I wonder if there's anything down at the shore now. Oh, let's go help that person who's in dire act. Well, actually, I'm really curious. Because if that sister's back... And we'll be able to go back through this door anyway. So, let's just... Go check out the shores. I'm really curious now. Because her habit was there. Okay, well. I'm gonna help you, Mr. Sir, Mr. Unbearable Agony, but uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, sniz. There's a note on the bed. Uh, let's read it. Baldwin lies. Who's Baldwin? Oh! Oh, the grave! 
<gasps> oh no, no, no! Noise is coming from inside the coffin. What in heaven? Oh, oh, did he leave a shovel? Let me get that walking stick. Maybe that walking stick is now attainable. Can I get it? What can I use to open the freaking... <sighs> okay. What the hey-ho-hi is the stick for? I can open... The lid is nailed shut. Oh, so we need a hammer or something? Actually, you know, we'll try that. Oh! Tell me about this place. Mr. Baldwin, you liar! Well, the construction of this building was ordered by an Episcopal Bishop of Aberdeen in 1805. Uh, tell me about Mother Elizabeth. She's pretty strict, I can tell you that much, Mr. DeWitt. Do you- do not think she likes me very much, either. Uh, what about Aberdeen? It was a place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. Scotland! If you look towards the east, you'll see King's Chapel. Cool. Oh, you seem a bit distracted, Mr. DeWitt. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, tell me about Monsignor. Cannot rightly say, after all these years, I have never seen the man who knows maybe he does not exist. Oh, we already talked about that. Oh, I don't want to stop. I'll leave you to your work. Have have fun. Now we got something. We're gonna break open that uh that box. We're gonna use this tool, this obscure tool. Dead body. You gonna fall? darkness of his eye his body is petrified he has a look of sheer terror in his eyes oh my god what has happened talk talk to me mother elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses well excuse me mother elizabeth i'm uh i'm gonna go talk to the father pay me pay me no mind i'm just uh I'm just gonna go talk to Miss Monsignor. 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 Ooh, what's that? Large, bright, ornate key. Let's let's take the key. What's this? These are papers on which Mother Elizabeth was working. William Need Need Neelands. Cause of death. Uh, scratch marks have been found in his stomach. Elmer Moore, a clear expression of terror on the patient's paralyzed face was found at the time of death. Evelyn Benzie, uh, we found the patient dead, emaciated and paleness in the body. Theodore Hadding, the patient suffered severe hallucinations minutes before death, screamed and shook until the opiate started to take effect. Lena, during the autopsy, we found some strange black marks on his fingers. Uh, Claude Harris, he died while he was sleeping. Nora, Respiratory arrest. Ellen Blair, the morphine overdose. Patient committed suicide. The patient did not seem to have depressive symptoms or suicidal tendencies. So lots of people been dying here. The door is locked. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your big ornate key. We gonna we gonna figure out what's happening here. Monsignor. Oh, this looks like young Mr. Dewitt. Dewitt. Is that Anthony? Don't look into his eyes. Okay, cool. Who are you? Because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Cool. Father? Is this Mr. Come in, my son. Did you think you could hide these books from me? They're just classic philosophy books, Father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence the instruments of falsehood, you mean. Fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, get on your knees and raise your arms. <coughs> Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Uh, 
It is Latin, malum in se, evil in itself. A strange eye-shaped symbol. Ooh. Cool. Okay, hi. Eye of the bird. Oh, okay, hi. Lots and lots of crucifix. Crucify. Oh, cool. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness, so Lord, have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are handing me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest. Ernest, it's been many years since I last heard that name. Since... Oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me, I beg you. Please, entreaties, petitions, praying, torment, exemption. Past times bring us just misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say. It's only the Lord who teaches us. We all must follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, my son. And pray. The makeshift altar is coated in a dense layer of wax. The candles, having almost burnt out, barely illuminate the room. A creepy image of Christ crucified. Inexplicably, it has a dark cloth draped over its head. He has a large burn covering his eyes. He is completely blind. Despite the decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Alright, so we're gonna end that here. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully this all works out for our dear friend, DeVitt. I've got a feeling it's not, though. So, if you're enjoying this series, go ahead and show that like button some love. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if it's night wherever you are, hope you have a wonderful night. See you soon. Bye!